Um, you know, with the, okay, so okay, if I have a if I if I blow on you or if I grab you, which is going to transmit more heat? Grab. Grab, right? Okay. So, so therefore, if there's more, the more density, the more heat transfer there is. So the next thing we're going to talk about, we've talked about right now, the ideal gas law and condensation and evaporation inside the balloon, talking about how that that happens, and that the molecules get not smaller, they don't get any smaller, they just get more condensed, they're more take up less space. And so think about it like this. If you have people with their hands out and they're spinning, they take up more space. Right? Not that they're moving around, just, just spinning. But if I now stop them from spinning, they can scoot in closer to each other and they take up less space. So it's, um, it's that same type of thing. Now, we're going to take this and use this as a measuring device so we can see how much is evaporating. And we're going to then test the heat transfer of difference between air and a liquid. So we're going to take some nitrogen. We're going um, we're going to put it inside this bottle. Now, first thing you notice is the bottle is warm, so it's wanting to boil really quickly. As soon as it cools down the bottle, it'll stop boiling. It's liquid nitrogen. Does it crack the bottle if it gets too cold? Nah, it depends on the material. The, the bottles don't crack. So, the, um, so if it's a mylite cable, it'll crack on contact. But it's, uh, like lifetime tables, don't crack. So if you're, if you really care about having liquid nitrogen at home, don't buy it in my life. Buy it. I'm just kidding. It's not that common, so I wouldn't really worry about it. So it's um, my point is, so that as it's cooled down, putting it back in the nitrogen, it's cooled down the bottle, so it's not really boiling. So if I put this balloon on top, we'll see how much is evaporating. Okay, not very much inside the nitrogen. That's because the nitrogen is keeping it cool. So if I take it um, if I take it out of the there, now the air is starting to heat it up and the molecule is really hitting it from the air. So if I blew on it or had a fan running across it, I'd have more air, more molecules hitting it, which would heat it up even more, right? But if I put it inside the water, I have more molecules even, 600 Whoa. times more. <laughs> now as it transfers the heat from the water to the bottle, look what it did to the bottle. It froze it. It froze it. Whoa! What you can't eat? Why not? It's, it's just water. No, it's just water. <laughs> Did you? It's a pretty loud balloon. Oh, that scared me. Um. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. My friends are talking about how there's a big pop in that. <laughs> So this, it gets the balloon bigger than it really is designed to be. So you see how it shreds that balloon? Yeah. So that, that it, the cold air with the nitrogen makes it more stable and it gets bigger than it would normally get. And that's why you, you'd never find that with a normal balloon. I mean, it's a normal balloon. I mean, but you'll never be able to flow it up that much with just warm um, air or even um, so if we, again, the air, heating it up, and that's how much evaporation is happening. We're capturing it. Okay, and then <laughs> that 
time I now, in the in the, Aren't what? bottles supposed to float? Oh. Yeah. Is this magic or what's happening? Magic. It's just it's magic. Magic. Huh? Sorcery? It's the nitrogen dream. But what happened? Why is it not? Why is ice on the bottom? You never see ice on the bottom. Because the nitrogen is freezing. The nitrogen in the bottle transferred the heat to the water and froze it to the bottle. So it's like, it's just like anything else. It froze it together. So if I, so you still have, you still have ice on the bottom. And it'll start melting and then it'll release. Okay, but the but it does. We're not defying physics. <laughs> it does float. But so it's kind of. I think it's when I first saw it, like freeze to the bottom. I was like, oh, that is cool. You know, what if I? You never ever see. You know, you think about that. That right there is unique. Whoa. That it. Uh, That's fine. <laughs> um, so, anyway, it's unique in the fact that that it's uh, yeah, it's just water. Um, so anyway, it's unique because you just never see things freeze on the bottom. So it's um, um, it doesn't mean, that, but it, it proves or poses the question of what do you do or to anyway, to kind of explain it. All right, so stop it and then restart it. Okay.